Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, July 14, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 5, reading verse 44. And it says, But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Amen. Thank God this morning for another portion of his word. And I know this word this morning, this verse, it is a hard pill to swallow for a lot of folks. A lot of us sometimes struggle with this. Because what this text is telling us this morning is to go against our nature as sinful human beings. Because naturally, when someone does something to us, we want to react equally or even worse towards them. And so the word of God this morning telling us that, look here, that's not who I want you to be because that does not represent me. And so he admonished us in his word this morning by telling us that we need to love our enemies. Now, who is our enemy? Our enemy can be considered anyone that dislikes us with or without a cause, someone who always seek to hurt us, to bring us down, on, or ultimately who try to destroy us. Now, according to the dictionary, an enemy is someone or person who is actively opposed or hostile towards you or something. So anyone that is hostile, any form of hostility that is manifested towards you by someone can be considered an enemy. So we get that? So here, the word of God is saying that we need to love them. So if they are hostile against us, if they hate us, if they abuse us in any way, if they treat us bad, if they persecute us, if they even try to kill us, we must love them. Not me, we must love them. If they curse us out from today till next week, we need to love them. If they try to destroy our careers, we need to love them. If they are abusive towards us, we need to love them. So your enemy must be loved by us. Why must they be loved by us? Because God loves them and God loves you and me. And the word of God says that God is love. And if we are walking with him, then we too have to love and not just love the people who love us. We got to love everybody. Uh-huh. And I know it is not easy for a lot of us. And I know it is not easy for a lot of us because sometimes we have some horrible experiences with people. People hurt us in a way that words cannot describe sometimes. And sometimes we just want to just flip the switch and just turn dark immediately. But that would not solve your problem. It only will make it worse. And so a good practice will be or would be to show them opposite treatment to what they have shown you. And even then they may not be receptive of that treatment, but do it anyway, because that's who your father is. And if you are the son and daughters of God, then you have to practice the th things that he does. And so for those who have gotten their heart broken times and times again, love those who broke your heart. For those who you were fired without cause or reason or over petty stuff, love them anyway. For those who you were abused in one way or another, love them anyway. For those who you were lied on, especially by people you never expected to be lied on by, 
love them anyway. For those of us who are being mistreated by our brothers and sisters, and I'm not just talking blood brothers and sisters, I'm talking brothers and sisters in the church, in the congregation, love them anyway. Because the truth is that sometimes we face some tyrant in those pews. But the Bible is saying that we gotta love them anyway. And you can't be a child of God and show hate. I cannot be a child of God and show it. Love is the key to destroy it. Do you get me? And so, we should love them when they persecute us, when they despitefully use us, when they try to shatter our lives, our hopes and our dreams and destroy us. Love them. Love them like you never loved them before. Because when you do that, you are only representing one person and that is God. Let God deal with them for you. Don't you trouble yourself and allow them to drag you down. Because think about it. If when they show you it and when they do all manner of evil against you or to you and you turn around to do it back to them because you say that you are giving them a dose of their own medicine or you are paying them back for what they did to you. Who do you think that is hurting more? Do you think it is them or you? Because now you have dragged yourself down to their level and even worse. And now your sheet is just as messy as theirs. And now all you, have, all you can do now is just to keep silent because you have shamed yourself and you have shamed the name of your father. Because that's not what God represents. And that is why I always tell people, don't stoop to their level. It is easy to stoop to their level. Because if somebody tell a lie and you, you can tell a lie too. But choice is so critical. And the choice that you and I make would eventually shape the person that you and I will become. So may God help us that we will have a heart of compassion. A heart that, you know, is full of love and charity and peace. And may we manifest his character towards our enemies so that they can see God in us and because of the manifestation of God's character would want to come and to surrender their hearts to him that he can melt away the hatred and the animosity from their lives. May God continue to wash us and may God continue to keep us in Jesus name. Amen.